Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I want to touch on perfectionism and how that can block us from our personal health and weight loss goals or any goal for that matter. I know for myself, when I was growing up and even now sometimes, I really, really struggled with perfectionism, this idea of getting somewhere, right? And I think for a lot of people who diet, perfectionism tends to go hand in hand because they really complement each other, right? Because when you're a big time dieter, you can carry this belief around that if I eat perfectly, if I eat perfectly, if I get myself the perfect body, if I can fit into the perfect pair of jeans, then somehow life is going to be okay. And I personally have come to see and learn that really perfectionism is a way that we block and hide ourselves from the rest of the world. It's like a suit of armor you wear, like you don't have to be exposed until you reach perfection and hello, we're never gonna reach perfection. So it's this little game we play with ourselves. And the truth is that real connection comes from the opposite of perfection, right? Real connection with somebody comes from a place of when you're allowing yourself to be seen, when you're being raw, when you're being vulnerable, when you're letting people see the hot mess that you can be on a daily basis. That's where true connection comes from. And it is, in my opinion, the indirect opposition of perfection. But Back to the point here, what I want you to see is how perfectionism never really serves. So I'm gonna give you an example of how it will directly block you and stop you from reaching any of your personal health and weight loss goals, right? So here's the equation for somebody who wants to lose weight and struggles with perfectionism. They set a goal, they make a plan to achieve that goal, they begin, they begin to execute their plan, and then inevitably, they go off the plan at some point, AKA they are not perfect. Now, the next step for a perfectionist is this internal negative mental dialogue, right? There's gonna be this conversation about how I never get it right, I don't know how to do it, this is too hard, oh, it's not that important to me anyway, I don't know why I bother, I'm never gonna figure it out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They use any type of derailment as a reason to stop because they're just confirming for themselves that somehow it's not for them to do, right? And then, they're so exhausted from this whole emotional beatdown that they never really get back to it or they do get back to it like maybe in a month or so or, or you know, next Monday. It's that constant on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And it's exhausting. And believe me, I know because I have spent many a years of my life doing this. Now here is the same equation for somebody who does not struggle with perfectionism. They set a goal, they make a plan, they begin to execute that plan, they inevitably go off the plan on some level or another, and then they look at themselves, they lean into themselves with patience, with kindness, with curiosity, and they wonder, they ask, oh, I wonder why I went off the plan. I wonder how I could, I, how I could adjust this. What could I do differently? What would make it easier? What would be more real and true for me? And they, and they look at it in a way that's like, it's a stepping stone. It's, a, it's still moving in the same direction and then they continue to move forward. So it's a completely different approach and it's a constant progress in the direction of. So I really want you guys to see how striving for, for perfection or trying to do something perfectly like eating perfectly or getting to the perfect weight really is not only does it not work, it will block and interfere with all of your personal goals, but it is also a way of knowing that there's some part of you that's in hiding. There's something in you that you are not sharing, that you are not showing, that you are trying to protect. And it's a really great place, in my opinion, to get curious around, right? Again, this is like when I say eating sometimes and dieting, it's not really about the food. We wanna argue with our plates, we wanna wrestle with the plate. Sometimes it's not about what's on the plate, it's what is going on behind it, right? So just a little food for thought. I think this topic could definitely be expanded upon. They, I can feel myself wanting to do more videos on it already, but I would love to hear from you guys. Do you ever feel yourself struggling with perfectionism? Have you ever had that experience? Do you feel ever in any way that you are running the same cycle over and over and over again? And if so, come down into the comments below and Let's chat about it. I would love to hear your questions, your thoughts, your experiences, because I do believe that when we start opening up around topics like this, we get to learn and grow from each other. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more Food for Thought.